Hi, welcome to Training Minutes. Today we're going to talk about a teaching tool to use for patient examination gloves. So we use gloves for most of our procedures and potential for exposure to bloodborne pathogens or body fluids with a patient. Before you put gloves on, you take some hand gel and clean your hands so that you get anything that might be on your hands off. After you've done some hand hygiene, you'll take out a pair of gloves to put on. And the teaching technique today is how to remove the gloves without getting body fluids or contaminants that might be on the gloves on yourself. So what I'm going to do is have an assistant come over and put some shaving cream on the gloves and we'll go through the removal procedure with the shaving cream as a teaching tool to teach students to remove the gloves without getting any of the shaving cream on their hands. So we'll take a small glob of shaving cream, rub it around both hands, and then we're going to try to remove the gloves without getting shaving cream onto my skin. So the first glove comes off by folding it inside out. Now we're holding the first glove inside the second glove. We'll remove the second glove by folding that over the first glove. Dispose of the gloves in an appropriate receptacle. Unless something is totally soaked with blood, in most states in the United States, it's not necessary to put them into a red bag. They can go into ordinary garbage, but they shouldn't just be thrown aside because they potentially have exposure to infectious material on them. And after you've taken the gloves off, you're again going to do hand hygiene. So we'll put some hand gel on, perform hand hygiene, doing this until the solution that we're using has dried and your hands are then clean and that ends the exercise. So the shaving cream exercise is a realistic way for firefighters to practice removing gloves, performing hand hygiene before and after, and a skill that they'll use every day in their routine EMS calls. Thanks for watching Training Minutes. I'm Mike McAvoy, the EMS editor for Fire Engineering.